Okay, it's auxiliary view time, so go new, standard IPT, create, go home like you always do, click on the plus sign next to origin. I'm going to draw on the front plane, which is YZ. Start 2D sketch. And I'm going to draw this thing that looks like a really messed up high heel shoe that actually machinists use to hold their punches. And I don't mean the punches you throw, I mean the punches that you use to make holes and things. And there's my sketch and let's put the dimensions on it. The overall width of this thing is one and a half, so 1.5. The height is 2. Let's zoom out. This measurement here is 0.25. This measurement here is 0.436. And now see how it shrunks this side of it? We can deal with that by going from here to here and saying, yes, I want both sides of this to be two inches. Zoom out. I have an angle measurement over here, so I'm going to click this line and then I'm going to click this line. And this angle should be 35. And this piece here, from here to here, should be 0.2. And now it's starting to look like a really awesome punch holder. It's in a dimension. This one here should be 0.838. We need to put in that curve that goes here. So the way to do that is we're actually going to draw a circle and then trim it away. To make our lives a little less complicated, I'm going to delete this line. This is the height of where that circle is. Now we need to figure out how far over it needs to go. So I'm going to draw a construction line somewhere over here. And by construction line, I just mean a line that I can delete later. And for this distance on your sheet, it says 0.33. I want you to use 0.325 because I didn't change the tolerance when I was dimensioning on the IDW. Bad Roush, no cookie. So where these two lines meet, okay, and we'll go this way to make it painfully obvious. Circle, I'm going to come to this point here and I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. Click, click, dimension. The circle has a diameter of 0.25 because the radius is 1.125 and we know we need to double that. Okay, zoom back out and I'm going to delete this line and it's probably not going to let me delete it until I delete the dimension for it. So delete this dimension, delete that line, delete that line. And now I have this line, which I need, the circle, and then I'm going to draw a line over here from this point. Okay. And then I'm going to use tangent snap right here. Constrain this line to this circle to be tangent. And oh look, it wants to move. That's unfortunate. So then you can do tangent on the other side of the circle and the other line like I just did. And now it's tangent in both places. Trim away this line. Trim away the inside of the, the circle. Oh, it doesn't like that there's a dimension on it. So let's try that trim again. And it wants to trim the whole circle, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this line, then I'm going to trim. And there you go. So that's the outline of the punch holder. I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to extrude this guy uh, 0.5. Okay, so now I'm ready to draw the holes on this thing. So I'm going to click hole, and I'm going to start with the four holes that are on the face. 
the front, the angled face here. The diameter of these holes is 0.23. The depth of these holes, make sure termination says distance, is 0.4. And then click for your reference point. The first one is 0.336 down. And they're all 0.25 from the side because they're all on center. So tell it apply. Okay. Get another hole. Diameter. Uh, depth stays the same. We're just going to give it a different ref different reference points. Seven point seven three six going this way. Point two five going that way. Tell it okay. And wash, rinse, repeat. This one is. 1.186 and then from here it's 0.25 of course okay last one over there 1.736 and 0.25 okay